Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be checking out these two puzzles. These are from the Trick Lock series. This is number three and number four over here. So these ones are much more difficult than number one and number two. I definitely spent a little bit more time figuring this one out than this one out, so four is definitely harder than number three. So I really like that they are uh, signed as number one through five, uh, given their difficulty level. So this is Trick Locks 3, and as you can see, it's got a lot of really nice engraving on the front. Uh, it's got a lot of engraving that's actually kind of hidden by that front plate that says Sonica on it. We've also got a keyhole down below. So the back is very simple. It's just got a bunch of rivets on it, and sometimes they move, but we'll check that out in a little bit. And as usual, we've also got another hole in the back. This is what the key for Trick Locks 3 looks like. It's a little bit different cuts than the first two. So this is Trick Lock 4, and uh, it doesn't have quite as much engraving on the front. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of that either. Um, but it's also got this red stain on this dial that has numbers. I'm assuming the numbers have something to do with how this thing, uh, you know, opens up. And on the back of the puzzle, again, it's just some regular rivets. But you will notice that there is a little tiny number 7 up here. Now that's probably got some type of hint, something to do with the dial on front. All right, so I have solved both of these puzzles and I'm gonna show you sort of my strategy, kind of mistakes I made as I went through looking at them, trying to solve them and open them. Uh, if you don't wanna see that strategy or know the solution, then scroll to this far in the video and you will just see my final thoughts on this instead. All right, so let's start with Trick Locks 3. The first thing I noticed is that this here is not attached to this bottom part so it must move somehow and I cannot get it to move in any way at all and none of the rivets I always go to the rivets and see if any of them are buttons because trick locks one as we all know had buttons on it and uh, none of these seem to move they can't really move sideways otherwise there'd be a groove there and again there's uh, a hole in the back of the puzzle and that hole sometimes you're able to see through and see some light but in this case we cannot because it doesn't line up with this hole as you can see I think it lines up with a hole underneath here so I'm trying to figure out how to open that like how do you open this you know so I'm gonna try the key so I get the keys and it's really tight fit in there like you can barely even get a single key into this thing so that was my first challenge there we go so it's finally in and it doesn't move at all. So I thought, okay, well maybe the, uh, uh, maybe there's a, the groove that's in the key there, uh, maybe only put it in part of the way and then turn it from there. You know what I mean? And nothing still. So none of the keys are working and I'm trying to figure out like how does this work? And one thing I didn't notice was paying attention to the very small details. After about five minutes of Kind of tooling around with this thing i happen to notice that there is a little button that i didn't notice before and that is located right here that's got to push in somehow so i'm trying to push it nothing's happening put the key in and nothing is happening i figured okay i got to use something so i see the key and it's got this little part on it and i think that's what it's for you put that over the button and now you can see that that green thing pops up and there's another keyhole. And from there, you can just turn it and unlock your lock. And that is how you unlock key trick locks three. And then you just close it again, lock it, and then push that down and it is now reset. So this is trick locks four. All right, so going through this one now, uh, this one took me a little bit longer. There is definitely a little trick to it. And remember before we saw that there's a number seven there, which I think somehow has something to do with this dial. So the key by itself absolutely does not work. So it doesn't even go either way. Uh, and then here we've got the numbers on here. I'm like, okay, well, let's put it on seven. So it's line seven up here, put the key in and nothing works. Okay, well, maybe seven belongs on top. That way I'm reading it right way up. And again, we put in the key and literally is nothing's happening. So now I'm going through all of the numbers, seeing if something will work. And now I'm also wondering, like, does the color red on there have anything to do with it? Like, am I missing some type of hint? 
Again, the seven on the bottom, nothing is working. So I'm like, okay, well something has to be, you know, has to be right. So now I'm going through all of the numbers alone, trying to open just that without the key, because hey, maybe the key is part of the distraction. And still I went through all of them and nothing worked. Until I happened to notice that I can push up on this and there's a tiny little keyhole in there that I didn't see before. One didn't work, two, three. And by the time I got to about four, I realized, hey, there's a seven on the back. Let's put it on seven right away. So now it's on seven. And now when I push it up, you can see it goes up much further. And from there, we can grab a key, put it in, unlock, and now that one is unlocked. So the trick locks are definitely uh, cool, but they're not really puzzles. I think, you know, you gotta figure it out, but once you see it, you can't really unsee how to do it. Awesome to have around and watch your friends try to get it as well. Cause this one here took me about five minutes. This one here, uh, probably about five minutes as well. Uh, and then I've also learned trick lock five, which definitely took me a little bit longer than that. I'm talking about half an hour. So I can't wait to make that video as well. Anyways, guys, uh, I showed trick locks one and two on my crazy bad cuber channel link to that down in the description. Also at the end of this video. And if you guys would like to get any of the trick lock series, I'll leave a link down below to puzzle master website as they did sponsor this video by sending me a whole bunch of stuff. So thanks to them for that. Uh, if you'd like this video, you know, click a like on it. If you want to see more puzzle lock stuff, more complicated ones that are much more steps and uh, actually better quality as well, uh, let me know down in the comment section and let me know if you guys have any of these as well. And tell me which ones because I'll check them out and maybe I can review them. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.